Many have asked whether it's a good idea to look at the pictures and videos of the Simcha's Torah massacre. I speak not of one who physically cannot see blood and physical hardships. Such a person must surely refrain for their own good health. But what about one who doesn't faint from blood? One who can watch a movie with a bloody war scene? One who in other instances would be inclined to see the barbarism? Is this time different? This time it's my people, it's my family. So should we be watching the videos and seeing the pictures or not? This week's Parsha is called Noah. It tells the story of the great flood that pretty much destroyed the civilized world. Only Noah, his family and some animals were protected by a special ark that God instructed him to build. There is a famous debate among the early Jewish scholars whether Noah was truly a righteous person or not. Whether he was a tzaddik or it was just that everyone else was so bad that it made him look good. When reading the story of the flood, one thing emerges clearly, and that is that Noah never turns to God to intercede on behalf of the population to spare them. Noah had known about God's plan of a flood for over 100 years. When asked by others why he was building the ark, he would reply that the civilized world is corrupt and depraved, so Almighty God is going to bring a great flood and wipe clean civilization. When they asked him, he told them, but he never sought to inspire the people to repent. He never sought to plead by God to save them. As long as he and his family were safe in their ark, it wasn't his concern what happened to the others. If he was concerned for his fellow, it wasn't strong enough to activate his advocacy on their behalf. This is forever a stain on Noah's record. He was indifferent. A Jew cannot be indifferent when our people are slaughtered. We cannot feel like it's a problem over there or for them. God forbid to think that we, non-Israelis, don't have such problems. What happened, Simchas Torah, must be an awakening for every single Jew. Without exception, we must freeze, we must cry, we must be outraged and then activated to do good for the unimaginable pain, suffering and barbarism inflicted on my people in Israel. Some of us are more sensitive to this idea than others. Some of us have this feeling any time a Jew is targeted anywhere in the world, even if it's relatively minor. But sadly, some of us have become indifferent. Sadly, we react like Noah instead of like Avraham and Moses. Life goes on and we continue with the rest of the news of the day or on to watch a ball game or to take my kids to karate. Sadly, some feel like I'm safe and it's just someone else's problem in another part of the world. If you are the former type, I say there is no need to see the pictures and the video. All it will do is cause harm to you. You already have the appropriate response. You cried just from hearing about it. You got up to respond in a Jewish manner in an instant. But if you are the latter type of person, please do look at what happened. You need an awakening. The savagery alone will stir your heart. You must learn that there are some two-legged creatures out there who are so full of hate, who are so driven for Jewish blood, no matter the age, no matter the gender, no matter the nationality. Don't take my word for it. See it with your own eyes. Avram intercedes on behalf of the people of Sodom. Moses intercedes on behalf of the Jewish people. Indifference was not in their blood. These are our leaders. These are our role models. Brokenhearted, we stand tall and we pray. We stand tall and we give tzedakah. We stand tall and we study even more Torah. And if need be, we stand tall with physical weapons and we go to battle. At the end of this week's Parsha, we are introduced to our forefather Avraham. May he intercede on high before the heavenly throne for his sons of Yitzchak and Yaakov that Hashem have mercy and grant us an end to the suffering, a healing to all the wounded, and an immediate release of all of our captives. Once and for all, send us Moshiach speedily in our days. Amen.